These simple micro SaaS ideas have the potential to generate thousands of dollars a month. And the best part is that they can all be built with no code tools. That's right, those are drag and drop software builders that allow you to build websites like these or apps like these without writing a single line of code. And so today I'm gonna break down each one of these five ideas. I'm gonna give you the tools that you can use to build them. And I'm even gonna be giving you some shortcuts to get these off the ground the smart way. Welcome back to lab everyone. This first idea is inspired by this guy, Jake Singer. He was not only able to build a no code startup, but he also got it acquired not once, but twice. You see, Jake was working as a product manager for Amazon when he realized there was a huge opportunity. He was trying to monetize his newsletter and realized that finding sponsors was super complicated. And that's when he came up with the idea, which is the first one on this list. A two-sided platform that connected newsletters with sponsors for newsletters. And with just $100, he was able to convert this idea into more than $300,000 in revenue. The business name, Swap Stack. And with marketplaces, basically, if you're able to connect a buyer and a seller online, you can usually take a commission and that's exactly the model that they used and that you can use too. So what tools did they use? Well, Jake was able to get a first version up and running, leveraging a platform called Airtable as the database. He then used Slack for communications and had Zapier to automate and send information from one tool to the other. But as soon as he started really gaining traction, he realized that he wanted to create an even more robust version of the platform. So that's when he decided to build the full web app, leveraging a no-code tool called Bubble. And he used that build to get more than 1,500 newsletter writers, plus more than 1,000 brands involved Involved in this product. Now, later on, it became independent again and actually sold again in 2023 to a newsletter writing software tool called Beehive. And if you're looking to build your own marketplace, here are a couple of tips to get you there quicker. Number one, build a very simple version of your product. The most important thing is to connect buyers and sellers, right? The technology in between is less important than the service you're providing. Number two, pick a niche. So for example, in a previous video, I talked about, for example, going after phishing YouTubers and connecting them with phishing sponsors. It could be in collectibles. It could be in dog grooming and could be in helicopter building but there are definitely riches and niches so just find the place where there aren't a bunch of people doing it and basically just do it now for this model there are kind of two ways to go about it either you can sell data or you basically take a cut of each transaction and then in terms of the tool sets i would use softer as a front end to build the user experience and then i would use Airtable as the database that hosts all of the information and then you might want to create some automations leveraging a tool like make and that my friends is the first idea but next up, we have one of my students called Alex Chabenko, who was actually a truck driver and built a trucking business just to realize that there were lots of people looking for jobs and there were lots of people looking for highly qualified truck drivers as well. And in just a couple of months, Alex was able to generate thousands of dollars with a platform that he actually built out with no-code tools. So this idea, my friends, is the specialized job board. The most important thing is that it's highly niched to a specific industry. Why? Well, because you can't really compete with some of these really big marketplaces that have all sorts of jobs like LinkedIn or Indeed. But when companies pay to post on those platforms, they actually don't get really good candidates, right? So if you become the place for people to come and find specific jobs, then you can pretty much find a smaller niche and make good money. And for Alex, it was pretty much a no brainer because he already understood this industry and it was just about creating a small product that could cater to the needs in that industry. Pretty smart, huh? Well, you can actually do the same thing. But if you were to do that, what tools would you use and how would you get this thing off the ground? Well, there are two sets of tools that I would highly recommend. The first one would be Softer and Airtable. Again, you can very quickly build out a front end. You can showcase all the jobs. You can have people click through to see the full job descriptions from those first jobs. And then you can even integrate with Stripe to be able to charge people to post the jobs. Now, the second set of tools or no code stack that you can use to build this out would be Webflow to build the website and a front end and it creates a CMS. And then you can use Airtable to feed all the information to that CMS. Now this is really for people who want really beautiful design and you can definitely buy a pretty cheap template to be able to get this off the ground very quickly. But of course it comes with a slightly larger learning curve that comes with Webflow. Now let's talk about getting this off the ground quickly. All you have to do at first is really curate jobs from all of these larger platforms and you can basically bring them onto your platform and just showcase them. And then what I would do if I were you would be to create a waiting list for people who want to hear about the latest new job. And so every time you have a new job, you could ping out a newsletter letter for people to see if they're interested in the job posting. And then once you just have a hundred targeted people looking for jobs coming to this platform, you could start charging the businesses a couple thousand dollars a month just to post on your platform. And if at this point you're thinking, yeah, Christian, but I don't really know how to get started. And also I've never really built an app with no code. Then I highly recommend that you consider joining our course bundle. This pretty much breaks every single one of these steps down into actionable tasks so that you can go from, I have this idea 
to testing out the market, and then to building out that first app with no code tools. It's a way for you to fast track your journey and really learn the methodology the right way so you don't have to go around the internet and try to figure it out. And if you're interested in that, you can check it out. There's a link in the description. And by the way, yes, you don't need to buy a course to figure this stuff out. This is just really a shortcut. The most important thing is for you to actually get started. So it's whatever works best for you. Back to the ideas with number three, numero tres. If there's one thing I know for sure is that all of us love to see progress. After all, it's the difference between us feeling like we're completely stuck and like we're actually going somewhere. And so this next micro SaaS idea is to build a habit tracker. There are just so many things that people want to track and monitor in their day-to-day -day life, whether that's calories, exercise routines, revenue, sleep, bowel movements. Okay, maybe not bowel movements, that's a little gross. But a tracker essentially looks at the same measurements over and over and over, and then creates these pretty graphs and numbers that illustrate how you've improved over those different numbers. And if you were looking to build out a tracker, you could use these two tool sets. The first one is a tool called Glide. It's an all-in-one builder that basically builds mobile-friendly web apps, meaning that they do not live in the iOS or Android store, but they actually live on all devices and they look really nice on mobile. And Glide is actually a very simple tool that you can use right out of the gate to get something really pretty done quickly with no technical experience. The second tool set would be software as a front end again and Airtable as a back end. You could have forms that people fill out every time they do that specific activity and then over time they'd be able to see their improvement. So if you were to do that for bodybuilding for example you'd be able to be like okay today I did 10 sets of this weight and each time you're increasing the number of weights you're doing and over time you see that you've been able to now bench press three times the amount you used to. Yeah, people just love that stuff. So I'll just give that as an example. Okay, so this fourth idea comes from a guy called Jason Chin, also known as Islo on Twitter. And in 2021, when he left university, he was trying to figure out how to make money with no code tools. And he stumbled upon a tool called Notion that he found pretty cool. And as he started learning this platform online, he actually started building out templates for this tool. And he was sharing all the tips and tricks that he was learning on Twitter in parallel. And in November of that first year, he had his aha moment when one of his fans tipped him just a couple of dollars were one of the templates that he had shared. And that's when he realized that this could actually become a business. And so he went even deeper and started learning more and more sophisticated things that he could build out with this tool called Notion. And over the next couple of months in 2022, he developed a handful of templates that got him to $10,000 in monthly recurring revenue. So this fourth idea is to sell no code templates. That's right, if you build out a useful template once, it's very likely that people will want to buy it again and again and again. To the point at which Islo has now generated half a million dollars from these templates and he is growing incredibly quickly. So the strategy behind this one is to learn a tool enough to be able to build highly valuable templates and to go out and sell them. But what tools should you learn? Which ones have the most demand? So Notion is one of them, but there are actually a lot of other ones in high demand. So the second tool I'd recommend is actually Airtable. You see a lot of people are now using Airtable internally in their companies for all sorts of operational things. So if you build a solid template in Airtable, there's a high likelihood that people will want to buy it. Now the third tool that you could do this with is Bubble. They actually actively are promoting the templates that people are building on top of their no code tool. And because a lot of people don't want to go through the deep learning curve that's required with Bubble, they would rather build a template. And in terms of money making, you can easily sell these templates from anywhere from 200 to a couple thousand dollars, depending on the complexity of them. And if you thought that one was cool, this next one is actually something that almost every single business needs. This is Tessa Thomas, and she built out a platform called Pipeline Solutions. It's a platform that provides analytics and automations for gym studios. And after successfully building it with no code tools, she was able to generate thousands of dollars a month in revenue. So this fifth idea is building out a dashboard, a place where you centralize the information so that a decision maker in the company can take important decisions and make sure that those are right and track the progress over time. Now, if you're gonna do this, I highly recommend you start off with sales. That's right, you find a customer who's looking for a custom dashboard and you build it out for him, charge him as a custom development job, which can charge anywhere between five and $15,000. And if someone's willing to pay to build it from scratch, there's probably a lot of people looking to rent it out for a monthly subscription. So you could then build a similar one and then turn it into a micro SaaS. And make sure to build this out for a niche because you can't compete with these larger dashboards that do everything. So you need to make sure that you're highly catered to a specific business owner who has very specific needs and who you cater to better than the other guy. Now there are three sets of tools that I would use to build out this type of business. The first one would be software and Airtable to create a simple first version of it. Quicker to learn, easier to execute on, and then you can get things off the ground as a non-technical person. The next two platform really depends on whether you're a little bit more mobile friendly or you're trying to be more of a web app. That would either be Flutterflow 
or it would be Bubble. Now, both of these have deeper learning curves, but that also comes with deeper functionalities that you're able to integrate. And Tessa, for example, used Bubble. These five ideas have the potential to get you to thousands of dollars a month. But if you don't even know where to get started and you really don't want to join a paid course like the one I suggested, then we also have a video right here where I talk for two hours and 19 minutes and break down every single step of launching a software business with no code and AI. So make sure to check it out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's go.